Halo teman-teman memori, jumpa lagi di channel Brand Memory Indonesia dan kali ini kita ada di Singapura dan gua ditemani oleh seseorang yang sangat hebat banget, penghafal kamus Oxford Learner Edisi 3 dan juga he's a Grandmaster Memory and the President of Asia Memory Sport Alliance, Mr. Andy Fong. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Okay, good. Also, now we are in Singapore, we are in the Singapore Open Memory Championship and also we will have a World Memory Championship this year December in Jakarta but uh, it's not about um, the championship not only championship but also how we use the memory techniques as the application for our daily life now uh, I will test you okay uh, because I heard before about you you can memorize uh, the dictionary and then uh, you can guess the words and the page okay this is the game, the yes. challenge. I will like uh, make something like this and then you say stop and then I will ask you to guess the words by saying the page and the numbers. Okay. Of the okay? Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. We gonna test you and then please say stop after uh, I open the book. Okay. Oh. Okay, stop. Let's say page 107, number 5. 107, right? 107, number 5. Okay, I think cockerel. Cockerel? Yeah. Wow! You know, the Coca Cola before is number 3, and the cock number 4, and Andy can guess the number of his cockerel. And then, now, we have another test. Okay. I will say <coughs> the word yeah. and you guess what page and what secrets. No problem. Okay? How about number page number 153? Yes. Number 10. Number 10. Is it like uh, diameter or something? Wow. Good, you're correct. Amazing. Diamond should be 11, right? Yes, diamond should be 11. Wow. See, I will say the words. Okay. How about elephant? I think it's page 182. The first one is elementary school. Correct. And the second is elephant. Yes, that's the... Wow, amazing. So, uh, Andy, uh, would you mind to share to all the member community who watch this video how you memorize uh, this dictionary. Well, basically, the technique of memorizing the dictionary is very similar. To the technique that we use in the competition hmm. It's like when we memorize some like our cards or our number that we need to put like uh, different images into the uh, locations. Okay, but instead of like uh, simple images, this time the dictionary will be a word. Yes. Yeah. And the more the dictionary have, the more details they want to memorize. So you use the memory palace, the logic method? That's right. Okay, and then he put the words into the memory palace and you put the memory palace in each page. That's right. Yes. Okay, it's very good. And for your information, we have the same teachers. Our teachers are Dr. Yip. Yes. And now he's in China, right? Yes. And now we are meeting here. So Andy, do you have any message to all the memory community in the world who want to join the memory competitions? I think it's a very good uh, chance, like not only to know the memory technique, but also like put it in the good news. You can like chant yourself, you can meet many awesome people, and I think it's uh, good for the study too. Okay, so uh, this is very amazing, and I hope uh, it will be very useful for you, and I would like to invite you to join the IM World Memory Championship this December. So thank you, Mr. Andy Fong. Thank you. And see you. See you. See you.